Hello and welcome to this Sona Systems tutorial. In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure a Qualtrics survey for automated credit granting with Sona. In the first part of this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to add and edit the settings of a study in your Sona System site. In the second part, we will cover how to change your survey in Qualtrics to enable integration with your Sona System study. In both parts, however, you will need to access Qualtrics and Sona. To follow along then, you may want to pause the video now, open a new page or tab to log into your Sona System site, and open another to log into Qualtrics. You will want to keep both pages open for the duration of this tutorial. Let's start at the beginning. How to create the correct study type in Sona. First, select Add Study from the Study drop-down menu on your Sona home screen. Then select Online External Study Type. This step is crucial. If your study type is not Online External Study, then you will not be able to direct participants to your Qualtrics survey via Sona. After selecting your study type, scroll down and click the Continue button, which will take you to your study's information page. Leave your browser open to this page. If you have already created a new Sona study for your Qualtrics survey, please take a moment to make sure it is the correct study type. You can do this by simply visiting your study's homepage in your Sona System site and looking at the study information table. The second row tells you the study type, and it should read Online External Study. This is the correct and required study type for Qualtrics integration with Sona Systems. The next step is to fill in the study URL box on your study's information page. For this, you will need the anonymous link Qualtrics provides for web-based survey distribution, so you may wish to pause the video here while you switch to the tab or page open to your Qualtrics account. Once you have a page or tab open to your Qualtrics account, please access the survey you wish to use with your Sona System study. From the Survey Editor screen, select the Distributions tab. If your survey is unpublished, this will take you to the Options menu for distribution channels as shown in the video. Select the web icon, then click on the Use Anonymous Link button. Finally, click on the Copy Survey Link button. If you don't see the Distribution Channel menu after selecting the Distributions tab, don't worry. You can still copy the same anonymous link to your clipboard by selecting the anonymous link item in the left-hand menu pane. Or you can open the channel menu by clicking on the Distribute button, selecting the web icon, and clicking on the Use Anonymous Link button. Now that you have copied the URL to your clipboard, switch back to the tab or page open to your Sona System site to set your study's external URL. If you follow the steps to Add Study and selected Online External Study Type, then you should be switching back to your study's information page, which is where you will set your study URL. Otherwise, you can access this page by scrolling down to the study menu on your study's homepage and clicking on the Change Study Information option. Once you have accessed your study's information page, scroll to the Study URL section. Now paste the Qualtrics anonymous link URL you copied from Qualtrics into the Study URL text box. You are almost done configuring your Sona study for Qualtrics integration. The last step in this part of the tutorial will be short and simple, but it does require close attention. You will need to add a section of code to the end of the study URL you just inserted into your study URL text box in Sona. This section of code may be found just below the study text box. Simply copy and paste it onto the end of your study URL as depicted in the video. Please make sure that the survey code section you copy and paste begins with a question mark and ends with a percent sign symbol. Also, it must be added onto the end of your study URL without any spacing and without copying over any of the URL already present in the text box. Once you have appended this section of code to the URL in the study URL text box, scroll down and click the Save Changes button. This will bring you to your study's home screen. That's it for configuring your Sona study in the first part of this tutorial, but you'll want to keep this tab or page open in your browser for later use. We will need it in part two. Now that your Sona study is all set up for Qualtrics, it is time to configure your Qualtrics survey itself. 
These steps demonstrated in Part 1 of this tutorial allow SONA to pass information to Qualtrics using the survey code appended in your study URL. Now, when participants are directed to your survey from your SONA system site, a unique, anonymous ID will be passed along to Qualtrics automatically. Next, we will make the changes needed for Qualtrics to recognize this information. That's where we'll begin. If you haven't already, please switch over to the tab or page open to your Qualtrics survey. Once you have accessed your Qualtrics survey, click on the Survey Flow icon in the left-hand navigation bar. Click Add a new element here to add a new block to the survey flow. Select the Embedded Data option to add this element to your survey flow. Click Create New Field and type ID to create a new embedded field with this name. Be sure to type in ID in lowercase and do not type any other values in this field. This ID field is what allows SONA to pass a unique, anonymous ID for your participants to Qualtrics using the additional survey code you added to the study URL in your SONA system's site. The next step in the integration process is making sure that participants are redirected back to your SONA system site from your Qualtrics survey. Here's how it's done. First, select the Builder icon in Qualtrics to return to the Survey Builder. Then, scroll to the bottom of the Survey Builder and click on the End of Survey block to display the options for the End of Survey element. Next, open the Messaging drop-down menu and select the Redirect to URL option. A website URL text box will appear below. To obtain the URL for this text box, please switch back to the tab or page open to your SONA Studies home screen. Then click the URL in the text box located under Qualtrics Redirect to a URL heading. Once highlighted, use your keyboard or right mouse click to copy the URL from this text box to your clipboard. Please note that redirect URLs are study-specific. Each online study you create in your SONA system site must have a unique redirect URL to correctly integrate with a Qualtrics survey. This is true even if you are reusing a survey or a copy of a survey you have already successfully employed with a different online study in your SONA system site. For this reason, if your Qualtrics survey has already been configured for integration, or if it is a copy of such a survey, please make sure to obtain a new redirect URL from your current study's home screen in SONA. Also, please make sure that you are copying the correct URL. A common mistake, for example, is to copy the direct study link from the right-hand side of your SONA study's home screen. This is not the correct URL to paste into the website URL field in Qualtrics. The correct URL is the one below the heading Qualtrics redirects to a URL, as this is exactly what we want this link to do. Once your study's redirect URL is copied to the clipboard, please return to your Qualtrics survey. Now paste the redirect URL into the website URL text box. Once this is done, the end of survey block in your Qualtrics survey will change automatically to display your study's redirect URL, indicating you've finished this step. Finally, we recommend that you review your Qualtrics survey to make sure the changes you made were correctly added and saved. For example, it's always a good idea to make sure that your end of survey block has the correct Qualtrics redirect address. Remember that each online study in SONA must have a unique redirect URL. And that the link includes the additional information containing the ID field. It is also very important to make sure you've published the changes you've made. That concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have found this video helpful. For additional information on this and other topics, please visit us at www.sona-systems.com.